Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another episode of City of Heroes. Well, here we are with Dodge Raider, our Street Justice Electric Armor Scrapper, and we played a few episodes with him recently. And uh, today what I wanted to do was go over something that I mentioned uh, two episodes ago, kind of in passing, about his uh, resistances and how since we have electric armor on this guy, um, he has a natural resistance to uh, energy damage. So I thought I'd go over a little bit of the, of the different kind of damages and that kind of thing and, and show how that really works out for us. So if we click on powers, and there are combat attributes up here. Uh, we have all the information on base information like max hit points and endurance and regeneration rates and things like that. When we look at our damage resistance, see there are, there are eight kinds of damages we have in the game. We have smashing resistance, we have smashing damage, lethal damage, which usually go hand in hand. You know, smashing someone punches you or hits you with a crowbar or a mace. Lethal, they're shooting guns at you and things like that. Uh, we have fire resistance and cold resistance, energy resistance, negative energy resistance, psionic and toxic. And uh, so those are the, 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 the eight big things. Um, most of the time, you're going to have some kind of resistance or defenses, in fact, to uh, smashing and lethal. That's the most common damage you have in the game. Uh, fire and, and cold are, are secondary, and energy and, and negative energy are secondary as well. Um, psionic is kind of uh, an exotic one, and so is toxic, which we'll get into. Um, most of the time, you're going to have, again, uh, smashing and lethal resistances or and or defenses. Um, energy is um, somewhat less used in the game, and negative energy is too. Energy is... is, is Anytime anyone's using this electrical attacks or something, uh, the Sioux use a lot of energy damage. Uh, they're the ones who always drive me crazy. I generally will try and avoid the Sioux, uh, the Vazalok, um, and the Circle of Thorns. Those are the three groups I fight, try and fight the least. Um, the Sioux hit hard and often, and uh, they use mainly energy damage. They use Smash and Lethal, but also energy. And, uh, you know, you, you've probably fought some of these guys, and, and they're the. the the low-level guys, there's always groups of three to five of them, and man, they punch you with those those uh, energy um, sword things, and they attack you. They, they're fast and hit hard, and uh, and plus they have those sorcerers with the hurricane. I, I try and avoid those guys. Um, the Vazalok, uh, they always use all that vomiting stuff, so they have a lot of toxic damage. Um, if you have toxic resistance, you're in great shape against those guys. One of my characters, I can't remember who, has a bunch of toxic resistance, and the uh, I fought some of those guys, and, and it did really well. I can't remember who it was now. Um, the psionic ones, they can be tough. That, that's like um, you fight some of the council. They'll have those, um, um, or the lost, they'll have those those lieutenant guys that, that shoot the mind beams at you. And then, like, among the, the council, they have those, uh, is it the council? They have those fortunatas and the, and the blood widows, and they, they use the mind attacks on you. Those things can be tough. Uh, because, you know, before you even get to them, they're already hitting you from, from afar. And sometimes they'll put you to sleep, that kind of thing. So those are tough. Um, Circle of Thorns use a lot of negative energy. And, man, it, those guys are just... Plus, I don't like the howling. They're always howling and, and all that stuff. And they shoot all the, the, the dark energy stuff at you, the negative energy. It's, uh, it's pretty tough. Uh, but if you but if you're, have a character that's built specifically for that, it can be pretty powerful. Pretty powerful defenses and resistance against those kind of things. Um, so those are the uh, your, your eight resistances. Now, again, as we discussed before, resistance says you're going to get hit, but the amount of damage is going to be negated. So, for instance, I've got 51.76% smashing resistance and lethal resistance right now. That's coming from my charged armor, which is uh, one of my main armor fields, and tough, which I haven't slotted up yet. So which that tells me that when someone hits me, um, I'm only going to take 48.24% uh, of the damage that they would normally hit me with. If, I, if, if this was zero, then they'd hit me for 100%, and I would die really quick. So just over half, I'm not going to be hit with. So that's damage resistance. With defense, it's this tells you that you're not going to get hit. Now, I have zero defense on anything, but if you have some kind of defense, that says that you have less likelihood of being hit. Now. The way I understand this, then there's a lot of math on the forums. You can read about this and a lot of things. Um, my understanding is that the base level for an enemy hitting you is like 
Okay, and for higher level, they, they're more likely to hit you. Lower level, they're less likely to hit you. So you can take your defenses up to a maximum of 45%. These numbers you can get up to 45%. At 45%, that means that, that an even level character only has a 5% chance of hitting you because only a 50% chance to start off the bat plus 45% defenses means only 5% chance of, of hitting you. Now, when they hit you, they're going to hit you for the full amount, but only 5% of the time they're going to hit you. So that's really that's really good, right? And uh, some characters are made specifically for defenses. Some are made specifically for uh, resistance. And some are based for on layering, having both of those. Uh, when we did our my, my willpower character, he had both defenses and resistance. And he also had a lot of regeneration. So all three things working together. The other thing about defenses, though, is, again, we have eight different kinds, types of, of damage we can take. Smashing, lethal, fire, cold, energy, negative energy, cyanic, and... and and toxic. Now that can be kind of tough to try and maximize your resistance or defenses on, on all eight of those things. The other thing we have for defense is we can have positional defense. And positional defense is ranged, melee, or AOE. So what you can do if you're a defense-based character, maybe you say, you know, I, I, I'm never going to get max defenses and all these other things, but if I do a positional, I can be in better shape. And there are some ways of doing that. Some characters have better chances of doing that than others. Um, so for instance, if you're a blaster and you're always going to hover and, and, and fire from far use range damage, maybe you want to specialize in getting ranged defense. If you get this up to 45% and you're always using hover, you're kind of done. I mean, you could go through the game just with that. Now, someone's going to hit you and knock you out of hover and then you're, <laughs> you're completely screwed. But um, otherwise, that's going to take care of a lot of your game right there. Um, so a lot of people will try and maximize uh, their defenses on, on these three things, or maybe just range and AOE, or, or something like that. And if you're a melee character, you probably need to get all three of those. But so sometimes, so some characters, it can be easier uh, to get these maxed out rather than all eight of these. And maybe you say, you know, so I'm never going to fight the Vazalok, so I don't care about Toxic, so you can, you know, not have to worry about that. But um, so different characters have different abilities, so that's what you want to aim for. And the way you can boost these things up is as you get later into the game, you're doing those enhancement sets. And we've discussed those in a previous episode. Um, those enhancement sets have bonuses that focus in on specific things. So you can get certain enhancements, uh, either a, a specific enhancement or go for enhancement sets that are going to boost up your defenses or boost up your, your resistances. Um, this character is all about um, resistance. But if I chose to, when I get this character higher level, he's only level 28 right now, I could uh, start doing a bunch of sets. I want to get this guy max defense. Now, I don't know if I would hit it because he doesn't have anything starting off, but I would could get some much higher defenses, well, much higher than zero. Um, so I could really make him a defensive-based thing, but that's not really his forte. So it's never going to be great for defenses, but I could boost so I can get some better layering for this guy. So that way he's going to be harder to hit, period. But when he does get hit, he's going to be hit for less points. So you want a, a good mixture. So... The reason why I'm bringing all this stuff up is I had mentioned a couple episodes ago that you know I have 51% damage uh, resistance for uh, uh, smashing and lethal and things, but we have the maximum 75% for energy for this particular character, and that's coming from uh, charged armor and conductive shield and grounded. So, and 75% is the maximum you can get uh, for resistance. Uh, as I said. Defenses, every character is maxed out at 45%, which means you only have 5% chance of getting hit. For resistances, the maximum a character can get is 75%, unless you're a tanker or a brute. Those guys have a maximum of 90%. So we're maxed out for this guy. And as I just said, one of the uh, groups of villains who do a lot of energy damage is the Sioux. And I don't like fighting the Sioux because I never have enough energy damage or energy resistance. Well, I got a lot of energy resistance on this guy, so why don't we go visit some Sioux and see what kind of damage they do. If you guys have played this game at all, you know that they're pretty tough and uh, not pleasant to, to play with. I think a lot of people avoid the Sioux. So I've got a, uh, a radio mission here. We're gonna go see some Sioux and see what we can do against them. I was gonna say, see what we can do, but I didn't want to. So again, this is just a basic radio mission. 
And, oh great, we're in a purple cave. So I've got all my uh, my three armors going plus tough. Uh, I got all my street justice stuff up here. Uh, I gotta turn on lightning field. Let's let's not turn on lightning field right now. Let's just see what he does just for his damage stuff. We may turn that on later. Energize it, beep beep. Here's a couple of guys. Now this guy, and we know I'm, I'm just gonna use. I'm not gonna do anything against these guys right now. This guy's pretty tough. He's hitting me with. Uh, that guy's hitting me with lethal smash, smashing damage, so I'm going to take him out of the picture right now. Alright, let's see what this guy can do against me. Okay, 30, now, now he's using a sword, so he's doing some decent damage against me. Oh, he's not going to do the uh, thing. Alright, we'll just fight this guy. What I want to find is some of those low level guys with their little energy swords. Here we go. Let's get all these guys over here. Guys? Your little V-net cops look like something that your mom made for you for Christmas. What do you got to say about that? I'm only using Brawl. Let's see, 25, negative 25, negative 25, negative 25. Not too great, guys. Not too powerful. Let's do our turn. There we go. helping them out quite a bit. But their little energy thing, not too much. 25% each. And we took on four of these guys at the same time. Not bad. Let's see what else we got in here. Although I did wait a little long before I did anything against them. <laughs> and these guys are going to use their swords. These guys are going to be a little tougher. That's going to take on four yellow Sioux at the same time. And we went from about here on the health bar down to here. Not too bad. And they had all their little kinetic stuff on it. Look how slow I'm moving. Look how slow I'm moving. They got, they got all sorts of uh, whammies on me. Pick that up. Okay, these guys are going to hit me with lethal again. Turn on our lightning fields in there. Then we have our performance shifter in here. We got a little bit more power. Hey, that guy disappeared. He ran away from us. Coward. Coward. No problem. This guy's going to show back up here in a minute. There he is. He fled with very little health. What else they got for us? Get in, all right. Hey, 
Now, as we take this character to higher levels, we'll get these numbers a little bit better. In fact, let's see here. How do I got this thing slotted right now? I gotta sell some stuff. Let's see. So that one's maxed out on. I've just got um, um, IOs on here. Basic IOs at level 25. Conductive shield. I only got one uh, damage resistance slot in there. Uh, tough. I have none. None at all. So that's just. <laughs> so I am definitely not even using all the. Uh, have everything slotted up that I, I could at this point. But again, that'll come with time. with the right slotting and enhancements I should be able to get this character's uh, smashing lethal up to uh, maximum level as well 75 so eventually that's what I'm going to do with this character uh, between that and my energy stuff I can take on most enemies in the game incredibly well this character is pretty tough and he does a good damage my problem has always just been on the endurance bar but with the uh, the performance shifter that I put in here, it seems to be better now. And it has some, some nice feedback from one of the, my viewers saying, I'm giving you some more really good advice about a uh, uh, miracle um, thing and you can put in health that will also boost up my endurance recovery by another 15%. So that would be really useful. And that's not a, a proc, that's a, just a given. So it's another expensive piece, but it's another piece that would be very valuable. I hadn't thought about that, so that was some good advice. So I'll be taking that as soon as I uh, save some more money. Oh, here's a sorcerer. He's also a coward. Oh, I missed him completely. <laughs> I haven't hit him yet. <laughs> I'm not sure why he's running away. I keep missing. There we go. Come on, dude. He didn't turn on his little hurricane yet. Where's the other guy? Oh, I'm sorry, I missed you there. Oops. Alright. This must be the hand of Omega. Alright, there we go for that one. I'd like to wait to hear the music before I exit out. A little bit of positive reinforcement. Let's see here. Circle of thorns. Uh, all right, so anyway, I thought maybe we'd have another one we could do. Maybe we can find some more uh, circle of thorns to beat up on. Okay, we are back. I have another Sioux mission to do. I didn't see anything on the radio um, contact, so I, I exited this map into Steel Canyon real quick, came back in, and I got a whole new set of uh, radio maps, radio missions, and uh, rescue Loopy St. Clair from the Sioux. And it'll be a sewer mission. Oh no! They pulled a 180 on us. Another purple. Hey, come on! Uh, all right. Well, that's just the way it is. I really don't like these purple caves. They're too tiny. They're. Uh, if you're in here with a, with a big group of, of players, especially with masterminds, uh, yeah, yeah, they're paying the neck. So, well, heck, we'll just do these. All right, here's a couple of these little little guys. Let's see what happens with uh. I got my uh, lightning field on. I'm doing eight to nine points of damage to each one of them, each tick. And I'm using Brawl. And they're hitting me with their little uh, kinetic power, like they're really tough, tough guys and stuff. Now their claws are doing some damage. That 
These guys are almost out of endurance, too, just from swinging their stupid little claws at me. But yeah, they're still they're starting to use some, some smashing lethal, but their energy damage, which is where their, their like little blades come in, aren't doing a whole lot. In fact, against one or two of them, I can actually uh, regenerate from basic uh, regeneration faster than they can do damage to me. See, this hallway goes in. It's a dead end. So, yeah, they got all these things. You can see they put all this stuff on me. Siphon speed, siphon power. So they've been trying to take some of that. That's why they were able to do a little bit more damage to me than otherwise. Uh, even though they were using energy damage, they, they were they were siphoning some of my power to, to, to boost up their own powers. Even so, it was like 25 points per uh, energy attack. Not that high. Yeah, these guys are going to be using a little bit more lethal. The good thing here, too, is that uh, I can maintain my cadence of attacks that I like to have so I don't run out of endurance um, with these guys without worrying about getting my time kick. With the Sua, I generally try and fight faster. Same with the Vasilok, try and fight faster to avoid any of their attacks at all because they're so paint powerful. With this thing, not so bad. And let Brawl do some of its work and Lightning Field do some of its work and then uh, bring the hammer down on them as I need to. See, I got a little turned around here. Which way are we gonna go? Boy, they <clears throat> they really put a number on me with these siphon speeds. They don't want me running away. Let they run away. There's no need for that here. Sorcerer. Uh, <laughs> there may be a need to run away from the sorcerer. <laughs> Sorcerer go anyway. See that just looped back around. He just disappeared completely, didn't he? Okay, here's three of the basic guys. Now he's, this guy's using his bow and arrow. a little bit of damage off, but not so bad. These are usually the guys that do a lot of damage to you. Well, here's the main, here's boss man looks like. He's got his own name anyway. The Terror. And here's our kidnap victim. I had a feeling I would be rescued. Thank you. All right, so let's get her back out of here. Healthy by speed will be returning here soon. <laughs> out. So, most enemies in this game will use combinations of powers. As we saw, they, the Sioux use a lot of energy. They also use Smashing and Lethal. So, on these guys, they were uh, only doing about 25% of their normal damage on me for their energy damages, and just over, just under half of their damage on me on the lethal, Smashing Lethal. So, we were able to take on a lot more guys at the same time. I mean, early on, I, I jumped into like four yellow level guys, which may have been a little bit much. But again, we didn't die. So that was not that's not bad at all.
Um, again, if you have a character that specializes in psionic damage, um, so for instance, I've got a character that I just started recently. He's a, uh, a dominator. He's a mind psionic dominator. So he has a lot of uh, sonic resistance. Um, so it's better against those kind of characters. Although I did get beat up pretty bad against uh, Arbiter Sands, the uh, bad guy in the uh, fault line missions, because he also has sonic resistance. And uh, I couldn't hold him. None of my powers were working, so <laughs> he beat me up pretty bad. But uh, um, also, if you have toxic damage uh, resistance, then uh, you will do all the Vazalok story arcs that are early on in the game because you will do very well there. So, uh, and if you have a lot of negative energy resistance, if you do have, like a dark character and have a lot of that, then uh, Circle of Thorns will be much of a problem. Although I find them kind of creepy to begin with. Um, so anyway, that's the way it works. Um, hopefully this helps. I, you may have already known a lot of this stuff to begin with if you've been playing the game for a while. Uh, hopefully this may clear up a, a little bit is what I've gleaned over the years from playing the game. Um, sometimes it's just fun to watch someone just beat up on the suit because they are kind of a tough group. <laughs> so if that's the case, then there you go. So until next time, this is Greg29407 along with Dodge Raider saying sayonara, and we will see you next time.